Hello to all of my Leos. Happy Freedom Friday to all of my Leos. It may be still Thursday when you watch the video, but this reading is for the 10th of... Um, the 10th of uh, November through the 10th of December, right? We're, we're, there won't be any questions in this video. I just want to let you know up front because we're getting closer and closer to closing out a cycle. So I don't want you all focused on the questions for the moon to come. You want to focus on right now. Like I'm closing out this. I can't, I can't let anything stop me from closing out this cycle. And this cycle was interesting because we had a lunar eclipse in this cycle, right? Also, Saturn went station direct during this cycle. We had a full moon in Taurus. So those are major, right? So let's see what your cards have to say. Let us see what your cards have to say. Uh, Leos, let's go. I'm talking to you if you have Leo anywhere in your birth chart, not if just your sun sign is Leo. So um, even for my cross watchers, whether you like Leos or not, that's not even... Uh, we're focusing on, um, you know, what, where Leo is in your birth chart, right? So this is not about whether you like somebody or don't like somebody. Here we have the uh, Four of Swords. We have the Queen of Wands. We have the Moon card. We have the Five of Swords, the Three of Cups, and then also um, the Eight of Pentacles. I see somebody finally getting their rest, and I love that because that's where the healing really is, is that, you know, I need to just rest my mind and start focusing on really just getting in that feminine energy. Here we have the uh, moon card. So a situation from your past, uh, you're moving on from. You finally said, I need to move on from. It's just overwhelming emotionally to keep thinking about it and replaying it over and over and over again. Going back down memory lane. This is right here. We have the five of swords. So we know that four or five is nine, right? And so you know that there's some people from your past who are, um, they've landed on the dark side of nine, right? The number nine. So the dark side of the number nine would be energies who are resentful, you know, just in their lives, they're resentful. They are tyrannical. They can't control their emotions, those kind of things. And so you're just like, do I really want to be connected to those types of energies? No, it's not even a not really. It's not even a... I'm not sure. It's not, you're not being indecisive. It's really a firm no. Let me just pull out my sword and let me just go ahead and cut off, cut ties with anybody who is resentful of what somebody said or did to them. I'm not on that frequency. I'm moving on from that. And I'm just leaving the past in the past, right? I don't want to be overwhelmed. So source is saying you're in a posture of gratitude. Here we have the three of cups. We also have the queen of wands. And so remember, wands energy is fire. You're a fire sign. So moving forward, you're saying, if I can't inspire people to find the light within themselves by just being a, a better example of being happy, charismatic, and free, just intentionally saying, when you wake up, I'm, uh, I'm setting my intentions for the day, and I am focusing on my purpose, because you got a lot of information coming in, a lot of information coming in about how you can create additional streams of income for yourself. So that's where somebody is saying, I got 24 hours in a day. I need time to rest, right? That's what Source is saying to you. I need time to rest and heal from something in the past. So let's say, for instance, that eight hours, right? So you say, okay, I have 16 hours. I'm working an eight-hour day, eight, nine-hour day. So, okay, I got eight hours left, right? What am I going to do with those eight hours, a source is sending me all of these creative ideas about how I can increase my wealth. Am I allowing my past to steal time away from me because I just, for some reason, I sit down, I come across a thought, and then now I got eight hours left, right? And I'm using three of those hours to go back down memory lane. Or I came across a picture or a letter or a note or something, some kind of energy, some kind of physical energy that you could be attached to that causes you to spend that time. So I, I see somebody saying... My time is worth dot, 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 right? And every time I give whoever it is in your past, my I'm literally giving them my time. I'm giving them my time. So that's less time for you. So I do see somebody learning how to be a, ma a better manager of your time. And that's why you're in a posture. That's partially why somebody's in a posture of gratitude. It's like, okay, I need to start looking at this differently now. I need to learn how to balance this out. I need to learn how to balance this out. So... Here we have the Eight of Swords. Here we have the Two of Coins. We have the King of um, the King of Swords, the uh, Four of Cups. We have the Sun card and the Fool card. 
somebody definitely felt foolish, you know, in the past. It's like I wasted so much of my time thinking about something when I could have been doing something else. I could have been making money. So things are coming up roses for you. And somebody is saying, hey, look, I have a new definition of loyalty and I'm making sure I'm going to enforce that. Right. So I do see somebody in their light. Right. So being in your purpose actually exposed your emotions. The sun, the moon is your emotions, right? Your emotions, your feelings, your subconscious habits. Being in your light, in your creative life force, in your purpose actually exposed your emotions. And so somebody said, I'm, you know what? <clears throat> I'm making a fool out of myself by just giving away all of that power to something that happened in the past. I'm giving away all when I could be doing something else. Like I need to be forward facing. So here we have the King of Swords. So I do see you on your throne with a lot of wisdom and knowledge now, you know, about something. And then again, there it is, an additional stream of income. Right? Here we have the Eight of Swords. And so it was literally driving somebody crazy, giving so much time to some two situations or whatever. Two situ two energies doesn't necessarily mean two people, just so we're crystal clear, right? It could be a person on your job and the job. It can be two two people, two places, two things, two places, two two things, two people, whatever, you know, mix it up. So here we have the four of cups, because sitting around overthinking something, when you were saying the dark side of the number seven, four and three is seven, you know that. So the dark side of seven is how come emotionally, how come people don't understand my emotions? Why don't people know why, how I feel, why I feel, right? Your feelings, right? Why don't people understand how I feel? Nobody understands how I feel, how I feel, how I feel. But the light side of the number seven is, uh, seven is a lightning insight. So it's just like, I know why you feel the way that you do. I know why that's an overwhelming. But if you sit down and intentionally activate that divine feminine energy, because remember, we're already really balanced out. Your default is to send out messages to your sender, but also be, be in receiving mode. So you're in receiving mode when you're dreaming. You're in receiving mode when you're eating, you know. When you are um, in a bathtub, you're in receiving mode. When you're driving a car and you kind of sort of zone out, you're in receiving mode. Whatever's on the radio, you're in receiving mode. You're in receiving mode, but this is where you're saying, I'm intentionally slowing myself down to be in receiving mode, like in meditation mode. Prayer mode, you're sending out messages to the universe. Receiving is meditating. So I'm going to sit down and I'm going to listen to that inner voice. I'm spending an enormous amount of time on something that happened, you know, and, and remember time is relative. So I'm spending a lot of time on something that's happening where it's not, it's not making me any money and it's not making a whole lot of sense. So I'm going to have to sit down and let source make it make sense. So congratulations to you. Congratulations, 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 Leos. Congratulations for moving forward. So, and now with all of these ideas, like I said, because you're on your throne, sources also, if you were in receiving mode, sources saying, I'm sending you some ideas on how to increase your money. So that's also intent, that's also a benefit of getting your rest. That's the healing. See the domino effect? You're getting your healing through your rest. Okay, I'm in receiving mode. I had a dream about something last night or some thoughts about starting a business popped up in my head or looking for a new job. All of that popped up in my head. I'm in receiving mode. I grabbed my cell phone instead of me going straight to social media. I'm opening up my notes section. I'm saying, okay, I had an idea about such and such. Not really sure how I'm going to get there right now. I know it can make me some money. I just don't know how to monetize it yet. Right. But okay. I, I'm, I'm intentionally being receiving mode. I got to go to work. As soon as I get off from work, I'm going to start just talking to source throughout the day. Okay, you gave me this idea because that's the inner voice. You gave me this idea about a new job or, uh, or a or additional stream of income. I'm not really sure how I can get to that. Then all of a sudden, because you're asking now, information it seems like it's coincidence, but it's really what you're sending out to the universe. You just got to be in receiving mode, have room in your universe to catch it, to receive it, right? So that means that, like for instance, let's say you're on a job and all of a sudden. It seems like all hell is breaking loose on the job. And you're like, okay, uh, it's no fun anymore. It's not even fun anymore. You know, management's just switching up. It's just all kinds of stuff going on. But somewhere you ask source, like, you know, I sure wish I made more money. I wish I had other opportunities. It doesn't seem the same or whatever. So now it's getting a little tight. The screws are being a little bit more tight in here. And so source is saying, oh, I'm still sending you information. All you have to do is go online and start looking. All you have to do is start taking these free classes that you're you're getting on this company that you to get take these classes, right? So that you can prepare yourself for your new job. But all somebody can see is these people don't like me. They're trying to get me fired, such and such and such. And sources like I'm letting this happen to you 
to motivate you to get you away from certain things, right? So that's just an example. So anyway, an additional stream of income is coming across somebody's path. Why? Because you instantly manifested it. You said it out of your mouth. Two and eight is 10. 10 is a number for instant manifestation. So, but if having to do with your money, if you're saying, I don't have any money and these people on my job are trying to, that's why I gave you the example. These people on my job are stressing me out. They keep saying and doing stuff to me. It's hurtful. Your pride can get in the way. Oh, I got to get them back. They say what? So it's just like, that's not the message I'm trying to give you. I'm trying to send you the message. I'm sending you the message that I'm allowing it to happen so you can start looking for something else, right? Not only looking for a new job, but also starting a business. And then also you got other streams of income trying to come in as well. But you're going to have to leave something in the past. You're trying to carry too much stuff. And stuff is falling all over the place. All right, let's keep it moving forward. Let's keep it moving forward. So congratulations to you. Congratulations to either somebody starting a business or additional stream of income or whatever is coming across your path. Congratulations to you. So for leaving the past behind as the breakthrough. Here we have the um, Ace of Swords. We have the Knight of Swords, the King of Pentacles, the Moon card. We also have the Eight of Cups and also the Seven of Swords. When you get to this point right here where source is exposing your emotions that you think in real low vibrational thoughts about people, it's time for you to cut them off. It's time for you to move on because that right there will cut right into your money. And remember, your default is directed outward, okay, Leos? So if you're having negative thoughts, it's, it's going to come out some way, shape, form, or fashion. You'll end up saying something. All somebody has to do, if, if somebody catch you, catches you wrong and, you know, you could be at work and, and you could be thinking about something that's going on in your personal life and you could come across as a person who is shut down, who's checked out, you're not really thinking clearly, those kind of things. It can cut right into this. And Source is trying to make you very wealthy, King of Pentacles. This cycle right here is special because the, the full moon was in Taurus. Taurus is ruled by venus venus is the planet of uh that gives you an opportunity to create a life that you love both in your personal and your professional life right and we're talking about love so if you're a person who says i need a lot of this resource right here to create jobs and opportunities and all of that for people then i can't be checked out because of what's going on you know, even though right now is all that matters, but what's going on on my job or something that happened in the past, somebody said, I need to release that, right? So I can get here. So that's where the breakthrough is coming in. The breakthrough comes in when you says, okay, when you say, I need to release the past. I need to let the past go. I need to let it fall. I need to go. I need to let that go. I need to move on as it relates to some energies from my past because I need to make room for this wealth. I cannot be checked out. I can't, my mind can be somewhere else not getting rest, you know, I'm upset and frustrated. I feel like I'm going crazy. Why is this? Because we're coming closer to the end of a, a long, a, a, um, a end of a cycle. So I do see you tossing some things into a burning bowl and stepping into your light. This is how you're recharging. So you're empowering yourself by throwing things into a, a, a um, some things that were holding you down into a, um, uh, and into a bowl, into a burning bowl, and you're recharging by your ruling luminary, which is the sun. So that's how you're recharging. And the sun, you know, I, I did a uh, series years ago about how you can uh, cleanse your crystals, your gemstones and crystals under the sunlight. And that's how you're removing the stale energy from your sun by getting out under that sunlight. So I see you've been working really, really hard on yourself. This is inner work. And also physically working hard you know so like i said you're not calling anybody any clowns you're not saying i was a fool you were a fool or somebody else is a fool or none of that stuff because even talking about it is invite opening that door to you're still giving them your time so when you're gonna start look somebody's gonna start looking at time very very differently because time is money B, that's right, put yourself in a, uh, first. Don't drink all of life from one flower, for there are many to taste and many to ex explore, right? So somebody's definitely, there's a lot of growth in you and growth around you, right? I mentioned this one time before, and I'm going to say it again for people who are new. Leos, you all are excellent, not, not mediocre or whatever, substandard. You all are excellent at helping people to find their purpose in life. But once you, once you, once it gets to a place where you're saying, I can, you know, I, you know, I can, it, it turns negative, then it's time to release it. 
So if you're if you can see because you came out the womb and you know what your purpose is, so you got to remember every every sign has a ruling planet or planets or luminaries. Like you and you and uh, you and Cancer are the only ones that are not ruled by planets, right? You're ruled by the sun and the moon. Um, you all are excellent at helping people to find their purpose. That's part of what makes you all excellent leaders, right? But if you are focusing that fire, if you're using your fire, if you're using that fire improperly and it's causing people to have low self-esteem because you're like, I keep trying to tell you, you should do this and this and this and this, and it's making them feel lower and low. It's not empowering them. It's time to detach because that can backfire on you. And you're frustrated. I'm always helping people out and they don't, and I don't ever have any help. That's where that comes from because somebody don't know when to close out a cycle. So now you get frustrated, right? So hydrate yourself. It's time for you to hydrate yourself. Be in receiving mode of, because I do see, like I said, you having energies around you. Like you got to get that, you've been planting seeds, planting seeds that you want to grow, right? And you're planting those seeds through your thoughts. No more negative thinking about whomever or whatever. I have all of this brain power. I need to start planting seeds in my own universe, hydrating myself so my money can grow. My money, my discernment, my wisdom, all of that. I don't have anything negative to say about anybody. If I can't help somebody up on their throne through my positive thoughts and positive saying, I don't need to manipulate you. I can just stay whatever I feel like is the obvious that's going to help you, empower you. Then I'm not going to tear you down. So surrender. Here we have 41. There's nothing more blissful than the act of letting go, of setting yourself free of all that doesn't serve you. That's right. Four and one is five is 41. Four and one is five. It's a pivotal point. You can either go back to keep replaying the past over and over and over again. And that's exactly what all of our demons want us to do. To land, to, even though you can be pushing to land on the bright side of life, your demons want you always on the dark side because it keeps you in a state of confusion. And who is the author of confusion, right? So it would be beneficial for you to align yourself with other dark energies because misery loves company. So just leave it all, leave it in the past. So it's just trying to make you very, very wealthy so that you can accomplish your mission here on earth, you know, to help change somebody else's life for the better. So deepening. Once you're on earth for enough lifetimes, your old soul will begin to, uh, to long for non-grasping, detachment, and surrender. They bring the peace of God. Yep, so detach from all of that. Whatever happened in the past and whoever said or did something that cuts you deep like a sword, it's been cutting into somebody's money. And so I see that changing. That's where the breakthrough is going to come in. I see you moving forward. You don't feel like a fool. You feel liberated and free, finally. Number 20, I am harmonious. You, re you relate to others in an almost cosmic level. You are dedicated to building to yeah to building harmonious relationships of all kinds. You have the ability to persuade others to your point of view by using gentle means, right? So again, there's a light and dark side of everything. So you can either persuade people in a negative sense and be miserable and join them in their misery, or you can persuade people in the positive. And that's what I was saying. You all are excellent at leading people to their purpose on the planet but if they don't want to see it or they can't see it or whatever you're going to have to be you're going to have to learn how to be in receiving mode of when source says okay it's time to close out a cycle because there's other people i'm assigning to you now so and learn how to move on so oops that card just popped out acceptance affirmations for acceptance i accept myself as i am um i accept what is without resistance i have the power to choose my actions um, I have, uh, I practice patience with myself. I am loved. I am not alone. I am at peace. That is what I have for you, Leos, and I will see you all on Sunday. Bye.